In a world where nearly half of the population is under the age of 25, we cannot afford to not invest in education. Boys and men also have a big responsibility to promoting these messages, taking these messages forward and standing in solidarity with their sisters. First, we have to understand that, that it is our right to have access to this information. And secondly, I think we should stand up for those rights, we should demand for those rights. Think about being creative. Thank you very much, Excellency. Investing is in young people, investing in youth development is the best investment that, uh, that a country can make. To really invest in the girl child. <coughs> That is the only way we can break the vicious cycle of poverty. That is the only way we can truly harness the demographic dividend. giving government jobs to young people. It is about allowing private sector to come into the countries, allowing small and medium enterprises to grow so that they can give more opportunities at the local level, at the communities, at the villages, at the cities. It's been a very positive experience for me to be exposed to the different solutions as I said that young people bring to the table. I hope to take both those concerns and solutions back with me to New York to make sure that those concerns are really heard in the youth circles, discussions, negotiations in the UN and the solutions that I'm going to make sure that they're scaled up and told to the rest of the world. empowering youth organizations and young people with the necessary resources, capacity, building and finances most importantly to be able for you to be able to deliver on those. It's the best of the times because we are the most connected generation ever. We have access to technology information. So how do we leverage that information? 